let's have the fifth theorem the limit of the product of two functions so we have here the limit of f of x multiplied to g of x as x approaches a is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a multiplied to the limit of g of x as x approaches a so you may not you may notice that we just uh, distribute the limit across multiplication okay let's have this example the limit of 2x plus 1 multiplied to x minus 2 as x approaches 1 okay this again uh, distribute the limit over uh, multiplication okay so we'll have the limit of 2x plus 1 as x approaches 1 then multiply to the limit of x minus 2 as x approaches 1 and then ap applying the um, previous theorem so we have the limit of the sum of a function so we'll have to distribute the limit across addition so we'll have the limit of 2x as x approaches 1 and we have plus the limit of 1 as x approaches 1 then multiply 2 the limit of the difference of a function so we'll have the limit of x as x approaches 1 and minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 1 Again, applying the previous theorems, we have here the limit of 2x as x approaches 1, taking out the constant outside, so we'll have 2, then the limit of x as x approaches 1, which is equal to 1, plus the limit of 1 as x approaches 1, limit of a constant is constant itself, so we'll have 1, then multiply 2, the limit of x as x approaches 1, so we'll have here 1, minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 1 which is equal to 2 then simplifying we'll have here 2 multiplied to 1 which is equal to 2 then plus 1 then multiplied to 1 minus 2 which is equal to negative 1 simplifying again so we'll have 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 multiplied to negative 1 so it will be equal to negative 3 so that is the final answer let's have the second example the limit of 2x plus 5 multiplied to x minus 2 as x approaches 2 again distribute the limit over multiplication so we'll have the limit of 2x plus 5 as x approaches 2 multiplied to the limit of x minus 2 as x approaches 2 again applying uh, the theorem on sum and difference so we'll have here the limit of 2x as x approaches 2 plus the limit of 5 as x approaches 2 minus I multiplied to multiplied to the limit of x as x approaches 2 minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 2. Simplifying the given, so we have here 2 multiplied to the limit of x, which is as x approaches 2, which is equal to 2, then plus the limit of 5 as x approaches 2, which is equal to 5, then multiplied to the limit of x as x approaches 2, which is equal to 2, minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 2, which is equal to the constant 
So we'll have here 2 multiplied to 2, which is equal to 4. Then we have here plus 5 multiplied to 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0. Simplifying this one, we'll have 9 multiplied to 0, which is equal to 0. And that is the final answer. Okay, let's now have theorem number 6, the limit of the quotient of 2 functions, which is written as the limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches a is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a over the limit of g of x as x approaches a, wherein the limit of g of x as x approaches a will not be equal to 0. So, dito, we just... Uh, Distribute the limit over the uh, operation which is division. Let's have the first example. The limit of 2x plus 5 over 5x minus 3 as x approaches negative 4. Applying the uh, theorem number 6. So, distributing the limit over the operation, which is division. So, we'll have the limit of 2x plus 5 as x approaches negative 4 over the limit of 5x minus 3 as x approaches negative 4. Then, applying the uh, previous theorem. So, we have here the limit of the sum and we have the limit of the difference of a function so we'll have the limit of 2x plus 5 so we'll have the limit of 2x as x approaches negative 4 plus the limit of 5 as x approaches negative 4 all over the limit of 5x as x approaches negative 4 minus the limit of 3 as x approaches negative 4. Simplifying this, so we'll have the limit of 2x as x approaches negative 4. So we'll have 2 multiplied to the limit of x as x approaches negative 4 is negative 4. Then plus the limit of the constant 5 as x approaches negative 4 is equal to the constant 5 over the limit of 5x as x approaches negative 4. So we'll have 5 multiplied to the limit of x as x approaches negative 4 which is negative 4. Then minus the limit of the constant 3 as x approaches negative 4 so it is, the const it is equal to the constant 3. Now, simplifying this, we'll have 2 multiplied to negative 4, which is equal to negative 8, then plus 5, over 5 multiplied to negative 4, which is equal to negative 20, minus 3. Simplifying this one, we'll have negative 8 plus 5, which is equal to negative 3, over negative 20 minus 3, which is equal to negative 23, or could be written as 3 over 23. So that is the final answer. Okay, let's have the 7th theorem, the limit of the nth root of a function, which is written as the limit of the nth root of f of x as x approaches a is equal to the nth root of the limit of f of x as x approaches a. A. So, dito, we're just going to find first the limit of the function inside the radical sign. Then, saka natin i-extract yung nth root niya. After natin ma-find yung limit niya. Okay, let's have the first example. The limit of the square root of 6x plus 4 as x approaches 2. So, we'll have the square root of the limit of 6x plus 4 as x approaches 2. Okay, so we have here 
uh, the limit of uh, sum of a function. So we'll have, finding the limit, we'll have, don't forget to write the square root of the limit of 6x as x approaches 2 plus the limit of 4 as x approaches 2. Simplifying the limit, we'll have the square root of so what is the limit of 6x as x approaches 2? So we'll have 6 multiplied to the limit of x as x approaches 2, which is equal to 2. Copy the operation. So plus the limit of 4 as x approaches 2, which is equal to 4, since siya ay constant. Now simplifying this, we'll have 6 times 2, which is equal to 12 plus 4. So we have here the square root of 12 plus 4, and 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. So we have the square root of 16, and the square root of 16 is equal to 4. And that is the answer. Okay, okay so let's have the second example. The limit of the cube root of 5x minus 3 as x approaches 4. So, this will be written as the cube root of the limit of 5x minus 3 as x approaches 4. So, simplifying this one, we'll have, don't forget to write the cube root of the limit of 5x as x approaches 4 minus the limit of 3 as x approaches 4. Simplifying again, so we'll have the cube root. So what is the limit of 5x as x approaches 4? So we'll have 5 multiplied to 4, then minus the limit of the constant 3 as x approaches 4, which is equal to 3. So simplifying, we'll have the cube root of 5 times 4, so 20, then minus 3. And 20 minus 3 is equal to 17, so we'll have the cube root of 70. Since hindi na siya pwedeng isimplify, then yan na yung final answer. Okay, and for the last theorem, theorem number 8, limit of the nth power of a function, written as the limit of f of x quantity raised to n as x approaches a is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a quantity raised to n. So dito, we are just going to raise the whole limit to the given exponent. Okay, let's have the first give example. The limit of 2x minus 1 raised to 3 as x approaches 3. Okay, according to the um, theorem number 8, so we're going to have here the limit of the function 2x minus 1 as x approaches 3. Then we're going to raise this whole limit to the given exponent, which is 3. Now let's uh, simplify first the limit of the function. So we have here the limit of a difference of a function. So we have uh, the limit of 2x as x approaches 3 minus the limit of 1 as x approaches 3. Then don't forget to raise the whole uh, given to the given exponent. Now simplifying this one, we'll have the limit of 2x as x approaches 3, so we'll have 2 multiplied to the limit of x as x approaches 3, which is equal to 3. Then minus the limit of constant 1 as x approaches 3, so it is equal to 1. And then don't forget the to raise this whole uh, given to the exponent. So simplifying this, we'll have 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Then we have minus 1 quantity raised to 3 and 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 so we have raised to 3 simplifying 5 raised to 3 it is equal to 
5 times 5 times 5 or 125. So, that is the final answer. Okay, let's have the given. The limit of 2x squared plus x minus 10 as x approaches 2. So, let's try applying those uh, 8 theorems on uh, this given or some of it. Okay, applying the theorems. So, we have here uh, addition and subtraction or sum and difference. So, we're just going to distribute the limit over addition and subtraction. So, we'll have the limit of 2x squared as x approaches 2 plus the limit of x as x approaches 2 minus the limit of 10 as x approaches 2. Okay, so, simplifying this one, so dito we can take 2 out of the limit. So, we'll have 2 multiplied to the limit of x squared as x approaches 2 plus the limit of x as x approaches 2. So, we'll have here 2. So, direct substitution ulit. Then, minus the limit of 10 as x approaches 2, limit of a constant. So, we'll have 10. Okay, so to simplify this, so copy 2, and then we have here the limit of x squared as x approaches 2. So, applying the uh, theorem number 8, we'll have here the limit of x as x approaches 2, quantity raised to 2. And then we have here positive 2 minus 10, so we can combine it now, which is equal to negative 8. Next. Again, let's simplify. So, applying theorem number 8. So, we have here the limit of x as x approaches 2, quantity raised to 2. So, what is the limit of x as x approaches 2? So, that again, direct substitution. So, just uh, copy 2 here. So, what is the limit of x as x approaches 2? Again, direct substitution. So, we'll have here 2. And we still have the exponent. 2 as well. Then copy negative 8. Now let's simplify. We have here 2 multiplied to 2 raised to 2 which is equal to 4 then minus 8. Then we have here 2 times 4 which is equal to 8 minus 8 and it is equal to 0. So that is the final answer. Now I want you to try this examples and for the final answers you can see it on the description box below thank you for listening and i hope that you learned